Creme caramel is probably the dessert that I make the most out of anything, and it's the simplest because it uses just what's in the cupboard. All I've got here are the ingredients that I need, some evaporated milk, condensed milk, eggs, a bit of sugar, vanilla, and that's about it. First things first is just to make a caramel. So all I need is some sugar and a bit of water. I'll turn this on, but I'm gonna put the timer on as well because there's something I've got to show you. This on a normal stove takes about 10, 15 minutes to make a dark caramel, but check this out. That just gets me every single time. Three and a half minutes to go from raw sugar to a dark caramel is just amazing. I don't mind telling you the first time I did that, I really did burn it. Swirl that around to get even color, put that straight into my dish. And while it's still hot, make sure that it's really coating all the dish there. Just let this cool down a bit. I'll make my creme caramel mix. Put a couple of egg yolks here. You need to follow the ratio of two egg yolks equaling one whole egg, but you can use any number or any mixture of that you like up to the total of five whole eggs. I'm using four whole eggs and two egg yolks. I've got the measured out here, but you actually don't need to do that because it's just the measurements of the can that you get off the shelf. One can of evaporated milk and one can of condensed milk. Teaspoon of vanilla, and I'll just mix that all together. You want to keep your whisk fairly flat when you're doing this because you don't want to incorporate too much air into the mixture. That's going to give you some air bubbles and air pockets throughout your creme caramel. Now, of course, you could use any creme caramel recipe you like. This is actually a, a Filipino version called a leche flan, but they're all about the same. Now, all I've got to do is strain my mixture into my caramel base. And this just goes in the oven. With a regular creme caramel, you'd actually put that into a baking dish and then fill that baking dish up about halfway with hot water. That stops it from getting too hot around the edges of the creme caramel. But with a steam oven, you can actually skip that step completely. On the steam function, this will take about 40 to 45 minutes. 